Hello folks, this is 2018, October, November, paper 1-2, and the question number is 21. So this question is uh, concerned with the chapter uh, elastic properties. So we call it a deformation of solids. The name of the chapter is. So it says that uh, our wire has both elastic and plastic properties. We can see from the graph here, from O to X, it is elastic, and then from X, uh, things turn plastic. When it is slowly loaded, uh, its extension varies with load as... Uh, shown by line O, X, Y, O, X, Y. The removal of the load is uh, represented by line Y, Z, Y, Z. This creates areas P, Q, R on the graph. So we have got uh, area P, area P is uh, somewhat like uh, this, area P. Then Q, Q is somewhat like this, and uh, R, R is somewhat uh, here. Which area represents the maximum elastic potential energy stored in the wire? So we have to find the Elastic potential energy stored in the wire. So this requires that first uh, during during extension the graph is like this. It goes from here uh, till here. So that means the area this this area from O X Y to this thing and this back to O, which is uh, uh, let us say uh, let me just um, okay let's do let's uh, uh, draw a certain pattern for all the areas. So let me say for Q the pattern will be like this for area Q. This will be the pattern for area Q. For area R, this will be the pattern. So let me uh, draw them a bit uh, away so that uh, I can finish uh, quicker. And let me say this is the another pattern here. Let me do dot it here. Dot it. So this is the pattern for P. So uh, as we extend it, it goes from O, X, Y. So that's why this area down of this, which is Q plus R. Q plus R represents represents the work done, work done in work done in uh, extending, work done in extending the wire, work done extending the wire. Then uh, when I when I allow it to return, it go, it comes like this, it comes like this. So this area R here, so area R is equal to work done, work done by the wire by the wire while it contracts while while contracting while contracting contracting so then this area q will be the energy that it loses that it loses which is either for uh, uh, change of uh, shape or change of size or let's say or shape or even it could be a uh, production of heat so what we have been asked is the maximum elastic potential energy so the elastic potential energy is the amount of work you can do amount of work the wire can do and we if I do, go here this is the amount of work the wire does so work done by the wire while it is contract contract so this R represents the work done by the wire so that's why this should be equal to the elastic PE stored in that wire because PE means the uh, energy stored in it because of which it can do so, it can give us back some work or it can do some work so that's why R should be that elastic potential energy so so the correct choice is Choice number D. So uh, this uh, Q is uh, the energy loss here. Q plus R is work done by us while work done by the external agency when the wire is extended. So our correct choice is this choice number D.